Rock 100.5 KATT. I am Cameron Buckholtz here at the Zoo Amphitheater for Cat Fest 2018 with Matt and Kent from Like a Storm. What's going on, guys? How you doing, bro? Great to be here, man. Thanks it, for having it's us. It's exciting. I, I got to talk to, to you, Kent, at Rock on the Range a few months ago, and uh, we couldn't talk about this tour because it wasn't announced yet. No, it was but top we, secret. We nodded and winked, we and did. I knew that you were coming, and yeah. uh, it was it's exciting to have you guys here, man. And it's not every day you can say we're here at the zoo. That's true, yeah. I'd imagine of all the tour dates, you're like, wait, are we playing a show or just seeing koala bears? Well, yeah, we did one of that when I saw it was at a zoo. Sometimes it's like the venue's called like the zoo or something and you're actually in like downtown Detroit. So this is nice, you know? Yeah, it's an, an actual, actual zoo, zoo with actual animals. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we, we just thought you guys would put this on because we were coming. Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah. We rolled we, out the exotic yeah, animals because the, animals the guys from yeah, New Zealand we're like, oh yeah, we, we better get, I don't know what, exotic animals from New Zealand, but I'm assuming you've got well, lots of them. That's your first problem. And scary insects, I think. Right, is it just that, I, I know this is the worst question. No, the same as Australia, no, right? That's no, what you hate. No, it's, it's different. It's different. That's Get the on. Thing. That's right, yeah, yeah. Um, New Zealand's probably one of the few places in the world where you could just go into the bush and lie down and there's no snakes, no lions, no scorpions, you know. I think there's a couple of poisonous spiders now, but I, like, I think they actually came from Australia, didn't they? Australia. Yeah. 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 They Are swam. They swam. Are there hogs? Like the big wild pig? Yeah, yeah they got introduced. Okay. Yeah. I just saw that Hunt for the Wilder People movie, and I think that takes place in New Zealand, but I, I don't know. Probably. Yeah, there are there are hogs. I like the way you call them hogs. I think we call yeah. them wild boar. Oh, that's probably the, the correct hogs, way, but you know. Hogs is definitely more American sounding. Yeah. <laughs> actually, then we call them cookers. Oh, uh, they have a native name. No, because they're after Captain Cook. Oh, oh is okay. that what people? Yeah. I don't even, yeah, yeah, I didn't even know that. Interesting. But I did go camping once as a teenager, and and a hog, or a cooker, as we like to call them now, uh, obviously smelled. I was like camping on my own. It was a survival camp, mm -hmm. and it stuck its face like right through the tent. And those things are big. So that's you really emphasize the survival part of the survival camp. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure what man versus hog would be like, <laughs> but uh, I didn't want to try it on. But gotcha. that's about it. Otherwise, it's actually incredibly safe. Gotcha. Well, fair enough. Yeah. Now, uh, you guys have been out on this, most of this Shine Down uh, Godsmack run, right? We've been on all of it. All of it and, thus far. Um, yeah, we finished in Houston. And gotcha. then our boys in Red Sun Rising jump on. So how's it, how's it been so far? I'd imagine epic. pretty amazing. Epic, yeah. Every night's been epic. And both these, it's like two full headline sets with all the production and the pyro and everything. Mm -hmm. And, and then our show as well and it's every night's been amazing yeah pretty much almost all sold out I think it's just been it's just it's just like it's like a tour of festivals basically right, you know? right. that's what it feels like yeah nice and you guys are out supporting catacombs which came out uh, maybe a month ago or so yeah yeah it did yeah in the middle of or end of June yeah, yeah. gotcha and, and uh, tell me about that record it's great first off Oh, thanks. Brian. Well, thank you. Maybe we should have you tell everyone how good it is. <laughs> well, I just, I think just I just, did. I just did. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I'm not. So it's great. It's first and foremost. So, yeah. um, <laughs> well, it's a record that we uh, we wrote and produced ourselves, and we took some time off the road to work on it because we really wanted to elevate, you know, from our last record, and, and we've been lucky enough to come from New Zealand, play in America, play all over the world, and we were really inspired by. The energy of playing live so we wanted to make a record that really captured that and uh and so we worked super hard on it and now it's out and now we get to play the songs live every night and it's been amazing to see the reaction do you feel like you were successful in capturing that because that's not an easy thing to do i mean it's what no, it's not. i think it's what kiss has been trying to do their entire career and have never done it so like yeah there's a few things you know um like as matt said we produced it so we really pushed the um mix level of the kick and snare you know that's one thing that you notice when you go to a live show you're really hit with the drums and there's, there's been a lot of concerts i've gone to where i was blown away by the band and you go and put on the record and it's still the same good songs but it doesn't sound the way you remember doesn't it punch sounding. You in the chest yeah that same and the yeah. same with the guitar tones and mm -hmm. we just noticed that um uh, you know, so when you first start in a band, you're playing in your bedroom or your garage and you're writing the songs, you know, and then you start touring and uh, we noticed that any time we got a tour, like a like a Seven Dust tour, or Ultra Bridge tour or Three Days Grace or this tour, you immediately go to your catalogue and you're like, oh, well, what are going to be the best songs energetic? Because when you're the opener, you know, like, yeah, you're out here trying to spread the word, but also your job for the headliner is to ramp up the crowd, you mm -hmm. know, and we take that really mm -hmm. seriously. So then when it came to this record, we even had songs where we were experimenting with like different drum beats and stuff and we but you would 
we would be thinking about it from the context of like, well, what's it going to feel like live? And once we record it, are we actually ever going to want to play it live? Because sometimes, right. you know, as I say, you can have something that um, you like, but it just doesn't translate live as well in, in this kind of setting. And how long are you guys playing? Are you having 30 minutes time to play those new songs that you want to play? Yeah, I think about 30% of the sets, the new stuff. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, I noticed the, the NBA video game sitting over here. And oh, I yeah. had to bring up, we were talking about it before we started rolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That in, in New Zealand, the only NBA coverage you really get is the Oklahoma City Thunder because of Steve Adams. Yeah, well, it's kind of, it's kind of, the, it's kind of the opposite because they get the games <laughs> televised, but over there in the nightly news, when they cover the sports, mm -hmm. they'll cover the All Blacks, the rugby team, and in the summer, they'll cover the cricket. Mm -hmm. And they, also, they cover the Oklahoma City Thunder like it's a New Zealand team right. because of Stephen <laughs> yeah. Adams. So yeah, they always have I mean, highlights the, from the games. Is he the only New Zealander in the in the NBA? Well, there was a guy called Sean Marks, and okay. uh, he, I think even now he might be an assistant coach for San Antonio. Gotcha. Um, so he played in the NBA. I'm trying to think of this. We've had a lot of college players, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is pretty crazy because it's a small country and basketball's kind of a relatively new. Like in the, I think in the 90s it kind of got big, you know. So, but gotcha. it's not like. You know, like you go back and you look at the footage of the Indiana Hoosiers from the fifties and stuff. Right, the, yeah. You know, we don't short, we, short, we short, haven't had yeah. that in our culture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, but he definitely made big waves in New Zealand. The fact oh, that a Kiwi, well, that's awesome. Because uh, yeah, because he's because he dominates. You know, sure. so it's yeah, pretty well, awesome. There's literally a like seven story building downtown Oklahoma City that's just his face. Yeah, like, that's so cool. Graffitied, so yeah, it's, it's awesome. pretty rad. Yeah. Yeah, there, I, there's lots of murals around New Zealand too with him painted on. I noticed last time I was home. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Well, cool, guys. Well, I appreciate the time. Oh, and, likewise, uh, man. for the sets. Yeah, yeah. And uh, glad we were able to make it happen. And thanks a lot. Thank you, brother.